Hello and welcome to another walkthrough video. It's been quite a while since I did one of these last time. So um, yeah, basically I got another trailer placement, um, which I thought why not spend some time and go through this on YouTube like I've done before. So this is my track Wrath which is published by Score a Score and it was most recently used in trailer spots for the uh, new horror sci-fi movie Nope. Um, and before we go through it I thought why not uh, give the track a listen and we can kind of go through the layers and some of the details. Uh, it's been quite a while, it's been a year or even years since I heard this track last time, so uh, it's gonna be a um, a process of discovery for me too. So let's give it a listen and uh, go through it afterwards. All right, so yeah, there was a lot of stuff that I would probably change now, but as uh, some encouraging info or yeah, encouraging info for maybe people who want to get into doing music for trailers, even though this track is quite old and I've learned a lot since then and I would probably never do a track like this today. This track still got placed within the last month ish or so. So old stuff can can get a payday too if you get the gist of that. Anyways, let's get into the track. Always get a sip of the coffee before you try to sound clever. Anyways, from what I could hear of the trailer spot, I actually see found it. It can be quite hard sometimes when it when it's these short spots. But what they use the most of in in this um, track is the the kind of hook sounds, or I like to call them signature sounds. And let me see where was the sound they used the most, was it? Yep, this one got used a lot. 
and and it's it's a bounce from something. It's fr probably from a thrill from native instruments. With uh, <laughs> this distortion plugin, it's quite cool. Um, I haven't really used it much since, but it's it's basically it's it, it's kind of ring modulation and distortion and and bit crushing and, and kind of the same thing, and it just goes way 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 over the top but it's it really it's really nice let's see what the, the original sound was um let's see so you can see that only with these two plugins we kind of get a new nasty sound out of that <laughs> Really cool. So I, I think without knowing, uh, for sure, of course, but I th I'm pretty sure that this signature sound is what placed the track in the end. Um, do we have any other interesting signature sounds? Let's see, what's this? And what is that after all this? Pretty cool. It's probably some loadout strings or something. And then we got what? Hmm. That's it's just Logic's pedal board. <laughs> uh, well, another quick lesson: don't buy all the fancy plugins. Just get creative with whatever you have. It can make money in the end and get your placements. Okay. Well, what was it before that? Oh, so we actually pulled some of the nasty stuff out. Okay, right, cool. And the last couple of signature sounds was this. Oh, this one got used a lot in the in the spot too, as far as I could hear. And what was that before? Oh, of course, we gotta have the OTT. Okay, again, I, it's something I pulled out of uh, Thrill from Native Instruments. It seems like I had a blast with that library at this time. Pretty cool, all right. Um, another quick detail that uh, I want to point out from this track, um, which I have then since uh, changed habits of, but you know, in trailers we have to have all these big hits for our edit points for the trailer editor big uh, whoosh hits uh, like this one and building uh, whooshes uh, like this which then builds into all these kind of hits and effects right and here I've kind of used just the same hits um, throughout the track there's some mammoth audio stuff and some stuff I don't even remember but what I'm trying to get at is that since this kind of this era of my composing i've started to do my own hits and all my own custom sound effects which has then led to more placements so and um, even though it works in this track i highly en encourage you to do all your own sound design and effects and and so on because uh, also it's really fun but then again if it gives you more placements down the line if well, it's worth the investment of the time. All right, I, I think that was kind of like the basics of why this track got, um, got placed. So let's kind of go through it from the first act to the second to the third. All right, so we start out with these. These, I will admit, are a horrible version of trying to rip off <laughs> uh, Richard Schreiber or Richard Prin, as uh, we should call him from now on um, and his uh, Elephant album's uh, throat. It's basic. I try to mimic a, a cello. I have a, a violin um, somewhere. Um, uh, I just pitch it down to kind of mimic this cello, but this is honestly just me ripping off uh, the throat albums. Oh, well, not ripping off, but you know, I'm being inspired. And this this kind of serves at, as I've mentioned before, one of the the edit points that goes through the whole track. 
Um, underneath those, we basically just have some scary strings. It's very low, but they're basically just creating this atmosphere. And on that we have some, uh, this is, oh, this is actually Richard's own library, library, Inventive Instruments. And this is a pretty cool uh, percussion made out of cellos, which is nice. Then we have some percussion hits. Again, to kind of emphasize all the edit points. And as any trailer should start out, of course, the big booms. Uh, and we kind of build those big booms into lower hits on top with the percussion and we kind of build it with the ambience, the signature sounds, this and then we have the riser at the end to kind of build it up to the last edit point of the first act. Then we kind of built upon this percussion section, built it throughout the track, put on the percussion hits. We also have some, I don't know what, where this is from. Can't remember, but it's, uh, it's uh, horror strings, it's ambience again. Um, then in our short string department, we're trying to start building with this. And that's just my own violin, I, I do something too. And this is Thrill, again, I had, well, yeah, you could say I had quite the thrill with, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. I had fun with this library. Using those to create edit points too. You will see that I mentioned edit points a lot. It is more, the most important thing in this genre of music. We get through that, we get through some of the signature sounds. We start adding on a big riser and then bigger effects. And some bigger percussion to kind of drive it. Yeah. And, and that's basically it for elements for this one. And then we just build it with the risers. And we get to the big end. Yeah, then we have a quiet interlude which at that at the time of this track was very popular with editors they, they kind of did this this short pause in between uh, the midsection and the 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 back end of the track they kind of stopped doing that now but at the time it was me trying to follow an edit trend then we get into the last part and some coffee And we kind of, we build up the pace here. This is one of the best kind of solo cello libraries for this kind of stuff. Not for big melodic stuff, but for pacing stuff and horror and thriller. Density by Mammoth Audio. Oh God, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Thank you. This is probably, well, it's not probably, it is my most used Shallow library. It's if you don't have density and you do this kind of horror, thriller, darker stuff, it's it's worth it. Trust me. And basically, this third act is just compiling everything we've had up until this point into a more, and we kind of accelerated into a more intensity, which is basically what trailer music is, is starting out sparse and building the intensity all the way through to the big end. So that's basically, there's no really new elements besides the cello. We still have our signature sounds, we have the sound effects, our rises. And the only new thing is some harder percussion. And the also beloved at this time, the clock and I actually don't know if it was me kind of making it go yeah oh, I did quite the automation on this one to kind of give that stereo effect which can be cool 
some editors might not like it, but it's there. And we build it all with big rises, more effects, more frequent, frequent signature sounds, more intensity. And we build it up to the big end. And then we have the final, you get the, the Nope logo of whoever is using it. And that's it for the track. I would love to go into the mixing of this, but it's, it's so old, this track. Um, and it's not really up, even though it just got placed. Um, it's, in my opinion, it's not up to the standard of trailer music now. So. I would love to go into mixing of a, a newer track at some point if one of the publishers I work with will allow it for an unreleased track maybe. I'll, I'll try to get that going down the line. But anyways, this was my track Wrath used in Nope. And I have another video coming up of a track used in Fear Street, the tragedy of Macbeth, I believe. It was used in a lot of trailers, so I, but I've been waiting to do that one because I needed permission from uh, the publisher. But I think all should be good now. But anyways, this is it for now. If you uh, want to follow me on, you know, the blah blah stuff, then I will put my Twitter somewhere. I kind of post when I remember I actually have Twitter, uh, or else I'm mostly at Instagram. And also, if you have any questions, please throw them at me, at Instagram or down in the comments here, blah, 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 blah. Social media stuff. Anyways, thank you for stopping by. I hope you got something out of it. Until next time, bye-bye.